if you're a musician right now, especially a stock musician, be afraid. Be very fucking afraid. Because Suno has been released into the wild and it is terrifying. Uh, using these scary buzzwords of AI and jobs. <sighs> So what, ChatGPT has been around for like a year, maybe a bit long, probably a bit longer than that now, actually. Um, and ChatGPT has revolutionized the game. It's when suddenly everyone was like, AI, this is a thing. Oh, fuck. It, like, the future is now, you know, stealing jobs, writing code, doing all of that shit already. So that was the first kind of scary, like, fucking hell, you can ask ChatGPT to write, like, poetry. And it sort of does a half-decent job. That's scary. Um, so that was the first step. And then what, like a month ago, I'm going to say-ish, um, Sora got announced or revealed, and that was the video generation one. And that is even more terrifying, because it's these videos that, that fucking AI are making, to a cursory glance, they are indistinguishable, in a lot of cases at least. Obviously, when you pay more attention, and I, I will say I've taken a lot of inspiration for this um, from the very, very good MKBHD video about it, so I'll link that in the description. But if you look at the progression rate of... Um, Sora from last year, or not Sora specifically, but video generating AI last year with Will Smith eating spaghetti versus what it is now. It's fucking terrifying. Give it another two years. I believe it was a, a quote I saw from uh, someone high up in DreamWorks who basically said, you know, the industry, the animation industry has got like three years to live because it can already do a DreamWorks like level production like now. Obviously, in like minute bites, and it's all very early doors. But give it three years, that is gonna come for a lot of jobs. Um, and here I was in my little library tower, going, "Well, at least AI music's not very good yet." Yeah, sure, we've managed to figure out how to, you know, use AI to make vocals and separate out old tracks and all of that. Nope, because Suno has just come out, and Suno is also very fucking scary. Um, so I thought I'd make a video about it, because why the fuck not? I guess the only thing that's left to do is talk about the AI. <laughs> Um, so this is the dashboard. I've obviously not I'm not paying for this shit because this is directly encroaching onto what I hope to do as a profession. Um, but it is morbidly fascinating how good this program is, to be honest. So um, it gives you, if you sign in with your Google account or whatever, they give you 50 credits, which I think translates to five songs or, 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 or 10 songs. But they, it gives you two variants of each one. I'm not sure why, but it does. Um, and just type out a little prompt, and then it's, uh, it chunks away, like, literally, like, 20 fucking seconds later, you've got, like, a coherent piece of music, like, a computer, a piece of music that would pass, if you weren't listening for it, the vocals in places are a bit janky, but it's very, very impressive, considering how quick this has come up, uh, so this is the first prompt I gave them, actually, I might move myself to the other side so you can see the lyrics, um, so I asked this one for an occult rock song with lots of organ and synth along with heavy guitar riffs singing about how Satan loves it when his disciples dance. Uh, so it gave me two versions. I'll only play you one because otherwise this video is going to take ages. But this is... So these are the lyrics on the side there. It kind of bangs! You can hear the janky bits in the vocals. <laughs> I mean, I have heard quite a lot of power metal that's just, like, not as good as this. Like, what the fuck? Those harmonies are tight, bro. Don't like it. Um, yeah, you, you, you get it. Even I did notice, uh, and this, is, this one is possibly the most uh, obvious version of that, um, that... If you ask it for specific instruments and so on in the prompt, it doesn't really do it. You can see there at the top, so the, the tags it's picked out from where I've asked it there is heavy metal, occult rock, dark. So I'm, I'm guessing that's basically what they're using, what the AI is using to make the music. And then the rest of it just goes into the lyrics. So that's why it says things like organ and synth, the instruments of might, which to be fair, it's not a bad lyric, but um, they, they make it into the lyrics. They don't make it into the song, so it's still getting there. Um, so our next one, country folks, I was trying it out on a various different... Um, genres, and I don't know why. I well, I do know why. I thought it, my immature brain thought it would be really, really funny to try and see if I could get it to write a song about incest because I know a lot of these AIs have got some keywords they're not allowed to fuck with. So I asked it for a song about incest, uh, and it came up with you know cannot do this error, error, error. So then I rephrased it and I said a country song featuring banjo, banjo and yodeling. 
that sings about the joys of being inbred. And apparently that was enough to get through the fucking um, block. And it came up with some funny ass lyrics about it being inbred. This is my favorite one from that perspective. I was born in a hollow where the cows were wrong. Got six fingers on the chain. Come on, man. This is straight up parody. We all can folk here in the county of love Taking family reunions to a whole new level above It's that's the lyric, it's the taking family reunions to a whole new level Just fucking absolutely kills me It's such a funny fucking lyric And then it actually does It sort of does a yodeling So it picked up on that, which is cool But just apparently no one decided that inbred was a word it's not allowed to say <laughs> Oh god. Also, you got to enjoy that it does. I mean, again, you can tell that the the vocals are the most obviously not real part of this, but it does a fucking fairly good stab at a southern country accent. Again, considering how early this all this shit is, I might play the other one of these ones just so you can see that it gives you two songs with the same lyrics in the same style but different. Um I think this one was a bit more upbeat. Yeah, there you go. Actually, I think I like this one more. Uh, but like yeah see it goes out the offbeat drums I wish I was that smart fucking hell <laughs> it's got that kind of Cotton Eye Joe uh, vibe to it which is fucking gets me um Anyway, you've heard the lyrics of that one. Uh, then I asked it for a, a disco song. This one, I thought the lyrics were you know, uninspired, but whatever. I've given it so much, and I was also... I'm trying to push it, so I was asking it to talk about you know, drugs and all that. And it, it kind of does a... I mean, it does talk about popping pills and all that in a, in a funky way. But um, yeah, so this is a disco song about taking pills on the dance floor and overdosing. I think... Maybe the genre of this one is more conducive to auto-tune, so the vocals don't sound as out of place, which is possibly more scary. But, like, I mean, this one's not that special, but it's kind of a good proof that it has, like, a pretty good grip. And again, so this one is funky, upbeat disco. Those are the... Um, those are the key tags it got from there. Uh, what was this one? The funk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, this one I enjoyed a lot actually. I forget which one of these is the good version. Uh, so I wanted to do a funk song. So I wrote classic funk rock song about accidentally step a st uh, stopping a robbery at a corner store by tripping over the thief as he was running away accidentally whilst you were berating a homeless man outside. Don't ask me why I came out with that. Um, again, I was trying to push it with the berating a homeless guy outside because that's like a pretty not cool thing to do or say. It fucking doesn't give a shit. It, that, that one apparently again gets around its um, its, uh, its guidelines. This one's also pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, he's feeling that funky groove. He gets that fucking. He's got the foot references already. And again, it's like things like it, it figures out. I said it goes to the corner. It's got corner store. So it. it it's smart enough to go, I walked to the corner store because I wanted snacks and shit. Like, it's getting context as well. <laughs> and then you get a fucking Funkalicious little solo, because of course you do. I saw the next bit where he talks about hitting and um, shouting at a homeless guy. It's pretty good. Okay, I picked the one that's lots of instrumental this time, but that's cool. Um, guess the funny bit. <laughs> I don't know why, it's really fucking funny. Also, even though this one's actually not too, um, like, AI sounding vocally, I do think this is actually one of the, yeah, it, sorry, not too auto tune -y. It's one of the more human passing ones from that perspective. <laughs> yeah, justice is arriving. Fucking, I think if, if people didn't know that this was AI made, I reckon you could easily get away with just putting this one out. Um, and then the final one I asked it for was um, Ren's, well, I asked I asked it to write me a theme song. I have I asked it to write a theme song, well, sorry, a theme song for a YouTube channel called Ren's Music that's focused on classic rock. Uh, Ren's is also very handsome and smart, because I was curious to see how sick sycophantic I could get it. I swear to God, if you ever hear me actually use this music in my videos, unsubscribe to me, I'm over. Um, 
But again, they kind of slap. Um, so we've got this bad classic rock banger. Yeah. <laughs> It just, I don't even know what this reminds me of. Lots of things, but like. I mean, it's a little bit generic, but what the fuck are you expecting, to be honest? I do wonder, actually, um, if one was to do a lot of research and try and sort of like reverse engineer whatever the sort of database of music this this software is basing this off. I wonder how original it actually is, like how much of these chord progressions are just straight up ripped up. Like I, I could see this as being a, puzzle piece of just a bunch of other stuff that's been stolen and combined which i guess realistically is kind of what music already is um and then i just i got to play this one this one is slower but it's actually really really good i'd listen to this song i mean it's really long i won't make you do all two minutes but it's like lights lights are out in the air you know yeah it knows me so well Like, this is some fucking sweet soul classic rock bullshit going on here. Um, oh, God. Yeah, look at that piano line. Yeah. Those harmonies are tight. It's like a fucking Queen song. It's a bit of fucking meatloaf and all that. Oh, God. I mean, every time I get into one of these songs, I'm like, oh, fuck. This is terrifying. Um, and to top it all off, I thought I would maybe give it a prompt and let show you the process of it actually writing one because it's also impressively quick. So now let's think of something appropriately strange. Uh, maybe I should get a pop song. I haven't, I haven't made it do a pop song yet. Let's do a pop song about Rins um, walking down the street when he gets hit by a bus. This is when he discovers he has superpowers and will now be known as Super Rens. Right. Let's see what it does with this. But like, it's, look, I mean, it's already figured out it's got, well, I guess it's not already figured out fuck all yet, but um, it's jumping. Super Rens. Fuck yeah. I need to stop making this AI write music about me. It's going to end up starting to make me look weird. Weird, duh, I guess. Um, I should have timed it. I could probably figure that out in the time. It's, oh, it's already got a fucking... Um, AI art generator. <laughs> There's some AI generated art for that one already, which is pretty fucking great. Um, oh, it's got lyrics. Right, let's see what fucking Super Ren sounds like. Oh, this sounds just like any other fucking pop trash I've heard. To be fair, I believe it did use that like money my own business type thing with the um, ro uh, robbery one as well. <laughs> This sounds like a Taylor Swift song. It's better than a Taylor Swift song. Oh, I also like how it's, it's allowed me to play it and it's getting longer as I go, which is also scary and clever. Um, yeah, I'm super in, ready to save the world. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this song is really not for me, but you fucking, you gotta say it's nailed another genre. Let's see what the other version of it is. I like the first one more. This sounds like bullshit, but it sounds like an Ed Sheeran song or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, wait, honestly, where's the chorus? Let me get to the chorus. Oh, fucking hell, this kind of slaps. This is like a Taylor Swift song. What the fuck? Oh, man, I don't like this. Fucking hell. Um, well, that's enough before I end up freaking myself out anymore. But um, I just, I mean, it is interesting. You've got to give them credit. It is fucking interesting and very impressive. But, well, I mean, the first sort of subsect of musicians that I would, if I was you, I'd start being worried is people who write um, like background music, stock music, anything like that. Um, very soon. I mean, now, in fact, if you wanted to get some background music for your YouTube video and you didn't want to buy it and you wanted to be like comparatively specific, obviously you can't pick shit that specifically yet, but I don't think that'll be long. It's done. That, that industry is fucking dead, like overnight. Um, and God, I guess if you compare this, sh uh, combine this shit with something like Sora, 
give it a couple of years, you're going to just be able to produce music videos to these songs, and it's just all not going to be real. God, the future is now, and the now is scary. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I thought that was interesting. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Let's all agree to not use this stuff commercially. It's an interesting novelty, but fuck this. this is, I think this is a bad path to walk down um, across every creative industry, really. I remember when art, AI art, was the biggest problem, and all the artists were like, fuck this noise. Um, what about my creative integrity? Well, it's coming for us all eventually. Yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video, depressing as it might have been, and hopefully you did find it a little bit interesting at least. Uh, if you liked it, like, share, subscribe. I'm trying something a bit different with this um, format, not so much as reacting to videos. So if you like that, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make some more shit like this. Great, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.